So long, deep breathing. Go within. Set your spine straight. Chin is down. Everything's in line. To start this class, we chant Om Namo, Guru Dev Namo, calling on the teacher within each of us to teach this class. So inhale, please. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Start with a punching motion. So between the punching, you'll be breathing. It's like a breath of fire. <laughs> Eyes are closed. Focus third eye center. Spine is straight. Try to get that circular motion in the punches. Nice class, balancing the right, left hemispheres of the brain. Inhale, and exhale. Relax your breath, please come into triangle pose. Long and deep breathing. Feet flat on the ground, hands flat on the ground. Bend 90 degrees at the back, right at the waist. Long and deep breathing. All yoga is about balance. And you might say all life is about balance. So when we're balanced in our right and left hemispheres of our brain, when our body is balanced, the meridians are all open, we're healthy, we're conscious beings. And when we're unbalanced, it's when disease comes in, mental problems, and just general, general not living in the body. So this class balances the hemispheres of the brain and the right and left hand sides of the body. Long and deep breathing. Inhaling, wa, exhaling, guru. 
Wa is the sound of infinite expression. Wa. Guru means dispeller of darkness. Enlightener. Not a person, not a particular path even. It just means there's a standing wave of consciousness that exists on the higher dimensions, the higher frequencies of consciousness. And that higher dimensional frequency of consciousness is what we try to tune into. That archetype form that created this human body. And if we can match that archetype, that original schematic that created this DNA that you created this body out of, then that alignment becomes perfect. And in that perfection, you become radiant. So we're balancing, we're gathering energy, we're healing ourselves and the planet. You just have a little ways to go, so long and deep breathing, inhaling wa, exhaling guru. Don't let your mind wander, as you know. The mind has to be controlled by the breath. It's your only link to it. Otherwise, it takes off. And since you are not the mind, since this biocomputer is not you, you can't let it have free reign. You have to control it with your breath. It is your tool to use. And the programming you put into it determines how your life works. Inhale, please. And exhale. And come back down to your knees and heels. Put your forehead on the ground. Put your hands by your side. Have your knees slightly apart. Long and deep breathing, just for one minute. There's an intent of consciousness that brings us all together, that makes us want to expand, that draws us to our origin. And that intent is the underlying consciousness of the entire creation. And how you use that intent, how you tune into that intent, determines your life. Most people live in the lower centers, the first three centers. And their intent gets distracted through procreation, through survival in this world, and through manipulation of the material world. But as spiritual beings, as spiritual conscious beings, your intent takes you to your heart. And you become compassion. You feel the oneness of each being you understand that the shared consciousness of our minds is indeed one mind, that we're just parts of this play of consciousness. And ultimately the light is the same in each person. But that's what makes you a spiritual being. And that's what this class does. That's what we strive for. Inhale, please, and come sitting up on your knees and heels. If it's comfortable, if you can't sit this way, then sit in easy pose. Okay, we're going to begin spine flexes, please. Inhaling up, exhaling down, focus third eye center. Breathe through your nose powerfully. Stretch your shoulders all the way back as you come up. Keep yourself focused, third eye center. Right the ajna. Keep conscious of your breath. Keep conscious of inhaling wa, exhaling guru. Just for the period of this class, let yourself go deep within. 
Don't let your mind wander. We're gathering the energy. We're loosening up the body. We're pulling and balancing the life force. Find a rhythm. Be your own guide here. Feel the light coming down from the top of your head. Let yourself become beings of light. A few more seconds, powerful as you can. Inhale up. Hold the breath. Pull the sphincter muscle tight. Put a pressure in the diaphragm. Seal off the lower centers. Seal off the sexual organs. Seal off the navel center. Let the energy rise up to the heart. Physically seal off these centers, but visually in your mind, feel the energy being, all these leaks being plugged. Everything rising up. Exhale. Come with your legs stretched out in front, please. Right leg out. Reach down, grab your toe. Inhale up, exhale down. Focus third eye center. Inhaling wa, exhaling guru. Keep up. A little more down each time. A little more relaxed. Don't let your mind wander. Gather the energy. And as you gather the energy, when you relax the breath, relax completely so you stretch more. Last few seconds now. Powerful breathing. Inhale up. Exhale, stretch down, all the way, hold. Inhale, come up and change legs. And begin, inhaling up, exhaling down. Find a rhythm. This is stretching the life nerve, running all the way along the back of the leg, along the sciatic nerve, all the way up to the top of the head and back around to the third eye center. This is a psychic nerve called a nadi. And when you keep this psychic nerve, which corresponds to the physical, when you keep it loose, it opens up your entire nervous system. It opens up your magnetic field and lets you be youthful, healthful, and conscious. Very easy exercise and maybe one of the more important ones you can do every day. Powerful breathing through the nose. Keep up a little bit longer. Inhale powerfully up. Exhale down, stretch. Hold your breath out, please. Stretch. Inhale, please. Come lying on your back. Relax your breath. Keep conscious of your breath, long and deep. Inhaling wa, exhaling guru.
Take advantage of this time. Be very peaceful, very conscious, not letting your mind wander. It's only one hour class. In this one hour, if you can keep your mind focused and straight, if you can keep your breath conscious, you can change your life. Having that conscious decision and keeping yourself steady for a one hour period changes your entire mental outlook. You, we do it in segments of one minute, three minutes, 11 minutes. But if you can keep your mind stable for one hour, it actually changes the way the neurons fire, fire in a permanent way. So keep yourself focused with your breath. Bring your mind back to the breath. Inhaling wa, exhaling guru. Find that very small point of consciousness within yourself. That very small aperture which you have to fit through. And as you near that called bindu, that infinitely small point, you also become infinitely large at the same time. And it's that dynamic between large and small, between infinites both directions, that this human archetype is formed. So you'll find yourself becoming very small, very big, very small, very big. And in between that point, the balance at the heart allows you to realize the Kundalini. And that fluctuation of energy also corresponds to the double helix of your original programming of this DNA. The right and left sides. It's called the Ida and Pingala. And these subtle energy pathways originate right below the pituitary gland, right on top of the nose. And they gather in the life force at that point. And they circle down to the Moadhara, the base chakra, the base of your spine. And where they meet, the prana and the apana, they start to energize the kundalini elevator. And you'll be sitting in this center of swirling filaments of light. And you'll becoming small and large within these filaments. And you'll become weightless. And as these filaments become brighter, you're drawn upwards, right through the center. And from the top of your head, pure white light is coming down from the crown center. This is how this human form works. This is your pathway out of this incarnations, this gravity well that we are all fallen into. Now you're going to inhale, please, and raise your right leg and left arm up, 90 degrees. Right leg, left arm up, 90 degrees, both. Exhale down, and then change legs, change arms. So you're going to alternate. There you go. Keep up. You can go slow, you can go fast. Just find a graceful rhythm. It's like a dance. We're balancing the right and left hand sides here. Breathe powerfully through your nose. Again, you can go slow or fast. Find your own rhythm. You have to do this for two hours, so keep up. I'm just teasing, but... Find a rhythm that's graceful for you. Bring your leg all the way down as you come down. So one leg goes all the way down, touch the floor. There you go. Powerful breathing. There you go. Don't forget to breathe. The breath is more important than you think. Beautiful. Keep up. 
keep up. Keep up. More powerful breath. Last few seconds. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Inhale, both arms and both feet up, please. Exhale, come down. Relax your breath. Palms up by your sides. Long and deep breathing. In this class, we create a personality, an ego, that matches your experience of consciousness. Think of it as a vehicle that allows you to travel in infinite spaces. Most people's ego, self-awareness, becomes very, very disturbed when they encounter the wild fluctuations of the Kundalini. Most people's self-awareness, this little person that you've grown over these years to be, become very scared when the infinite horizons open up and the currents of this immense universe we live in take over. But yet you have to learn how to swim in these currents. You have to be able to have a personality, an ego, that can survive and thrive in these rarefied states of consciousness. Sooner or later, you have to go through it. Sooner or later, you're going to die, and you will go through it. So the idea is to die while you're still alive. And how you do that is that you make your ego seamless to infinity. You align your breath and your consciousness with that infinite light that is you. You understand that this body is temporary and it's a cave that you look out of. And you understand that all the bodies are the same. And the light that is reflected and reflected down is the same light that animates every being. And by understanding that, and by turning your thoughts, and keeping your breath under control, turning your thoughts to devotion, not to any person, but to your own inner life, and becoming worthy of that devotion is the pathway of Kundalini Yoga. And that's what we do. We train our egos to be devotional. We set up filters and screens in our mind so we don't get viruses, so we don't get distracted. These biocomputers are the same as your computer, a little more sophisticated. But the concept is the same. So long and deep breathing, don't be distracted. Train your biocomputer, set up the firewalls, seal off the lower centers, don't let your energy leak out. And yet, through all of this discipline that you have to go through, you have to keep your joy and love and happiness there. You can't be a fanatic. You have to find that balance. And this class is about balance. Inhale, please, and raise your legs up exactly one foot off the ground. Point your hands at your toes. Raise your head up. Look at your toes. Begin breath of fire. Stretch pose. Just one foot. Bring it down. One foot, only 12 inches. That's this high. Okay. Do what you can. It's okay. Yeah, if you have a problem, you can adjust yourself from your own problem. Don't hurt yourself. Do what you can. My job is to push you a little bit, but please do what you can. 
Now, you're going to do this for one minute, so you're already into it for 25 seconds, but keep in mind this exercise should be worked up to for three minutes. Because you need to strengthen the solar plexus, the navel center. You need to create a very, very powerful key energy, like in martial arts. Because this stabilizes this whole body. This stabilizes this whole magnetic field. Without it, you become a space cadet. So the idea is that we're holistic beings. We live on all levels of consciousness. But we have to stabilize the Earth level. Almost there, last few seconds, powerful breath. Keep up, keep up, keep up. Almost there, keep up, powerful. Inhale. Exhale, relax. Thank you. Don't let your mind wander. Palms are up by your side. Be receptive. Everyone in this universe, everyone in this life, every human form is born in the feminine aspect. We become male later on. So we're all receptive beings, receptive to the divine light of consciousness. Long and deep breathing. Don't let your mind wander. This is the programming of the biocomputer. You can call it self-hypnosis. You can call it mantra yoga. But the idea is that you control the thought waves in your mind. And by having the discipline of that control, the light of the universe shines through. Your mind becomes clear, and you're not being distracted or bombarded by the multitude of distractions. You're focused, you're straight, you're clear, joyful, beautiful, graceful. And this is what you are. This is what you're meant to be. When this body is healthy, the magnetic field is working, double helix, is, everything is working properly. How else can you be but a reflection of divine light? There is, that's what you are. And yet as you fall into your small I amness, your small ego, you get distracted by this body. You get distracted by the material world, by the maya. So the idea Bring yourself back with your breath, inhaling wa, exhaling guru. Find that quiet, that stillness within. Inhale, please. Bring your knees to your chest, wrap your hands around your legs and Inhale forward, exhale back, rock back and forth in your spine. Come all the way up to your feet and then back to your neck. And massage your complete back. Just do back and forth. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Simple. Be gentle with yourself. Keep up. You have to do this for one minute only. Last few seconds, keep up. And inhale and come sitting up, please, in an easy cross-legged position. And give yourself the twist to right and left. And sit straight, straight spine, chin down, everything in line. And just take a few long deep breaths and go inside and feel the form of this human body that you've grown. This is your body. You've taken the time to grow it. 30 years, 20 years, whatever, how old you are. Feel this body form that you have grown. Feel the energy flowing in it. Understand the billions of cells that make up this body. Understand the energy, the electrical energy that's holding it together. Understand the intent of consciousness that's actually holding all of us together. 
this DNA that has brought you from two cells all the way up. Feel yourself as a being of light. Now focus your attention right at the third eye center. Eyes are slightly rolled up. Place the hands in Gyan Mudra. These two fingers together, these straight. Arms are straight. Spine is straight. Chin is down. Begin breath of fire. Breath of fire is done by pumping the diaphragm, concentrating on the exhale through the nose only. Pushing the breath out with the exhale and relaxing the diaphragm is the inhale. Let the air go past the lungs. You're just concentrating on diaphragmatic breathing. That's all. But you're gathering the prana, the life force. Breath of fire is the most effective way of gathering the life force, of cleansing the entire magnetic field, of activating the kundalini. And it creates the heat, the tapas, the spiritual heat. You'll feel the heat at the base of your spine. Keep up, spine straight, chin down. <clears throat> Powerful breathing. Pump the diaphragm. By pumping the diaphragm, you activate the third center too. You're pulling at the solar plexus. You're pulling right there. Expand your aura. Feel your radiance, the beauty that you are. This beauty is timeless. And you make that connection with your real self here. You make that connection with the divine light that you are. The seamlessness of that consciousness merges in its own self. The light merges in the light. There's no interruption in consciousness because you've made yourself small in order to be infinite. Now inhale, please. Hold the breath, pull the root lock, sphincter muscle tight, sexual organs in. Diaphragm pulled. Seal off the lower centers, physically and in your mind. Energy is sealed off. Lower triangle is sealed. The two breaths meet at the base, starting the spiral of consciousness, sitting in the middle of this double helix filaments of energy, or sitting in the middle, being drawn upwards. Exhale. Relax your breath. Place the hands at 90 degrees. Fingers in Gyan Mudra. Inhale, left, exhale, right. So you go. Third eye center, keep focused. Breathe powerfully. Inhale. Exhale. 
Exhale. Now bring your, uh, keep the hands in Gyan Mudra. Hands, uh, arms all the way down. You're going to inhale up. Down as hard as you can. Actually hit the sides when you do it. Inhale up. Exhale, lower your hands down, relax your breath, sit inside. Place the right hand on top of the left hand. Thumbs touching. Inhale, and exhale, stretch both legs out, wide as you can, comfortably. Grab your toes. Now, in this position, you're going to inhale, you're going to make sure make the sound with your mouth. And as you come down, of guru over your tongue so it vibrates. Guru. 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 Focus third eye center. Guru. 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 Exhale down, hold that breath out, 
stretch down completely. Inhale, come up, come lying on your backs, relax completely. Let your breath go. Good job. Let the sound of the gong wash over you.
eyes up rising Sweet family dear Time of the Lord And remember it Love is here Love, love is All you'll say If you wait If you're away. 